Good morning. This is Wendy Hill Kennel and this is Fergie. I know you want in my lap. She's been out running around and she's hot, but we put her in here for the video. Her kids have never been on the grass yet. So what we're going to do, we put collars on them ahead of time this morning so it wouldn't take so much time up. And we're going to give you microchip collars, microchip numbers, and collar color. That's too hard to say this early in the morning. We're trying to beat the heat. We're supposed to be 90 today. This is puppy number 5252. This is a male. He has a, a purple collar on. Beautiful coats on these babies. And we just trimmed everybody's face, gave him a hygiene clip, and they're ready to rock and roll. So this is the first time they've been on the grass. So we'll see how they do. Some of them will be okay with it. Some of them won't be okay with it. It just depends on the puppy. All right, so this is a female, the only female. Come on, microchipper. 5309, and she has a hot pink collar, so she's gonna be easy to spot. She also had her face trimmed, hygiene clip. And hopefully we get some really good face pictures for you. I am not going to do photos this week, so please don't shoot me. But I have about eight and a half bushel of tomatoes I brought home last night sitting in my basement that I have to start canning today. And I have tons of tomato soup to make. So for the next two days, I'm going to be canning tomatoes. Um, 4434 is the microchip number on here. This is another black male. He's got a red collar right there. And that'll be on until they go home. And yes, they do go home with their collars on. I do not have leashes, but I do send them home with the collar. And yes, these collars have a leash loop on it. So there you give you a good close-up picture. Okay, so you're down. All right, let's go with the, uh, the mustard yellow collared male is 6077, black male, and he's got a bright yellow collar. Turn around here, pumpkin. He's got really pretty face. You can see it now that we trimmed it away from their eyes. We trim their eyes about every two weeks. So by the time they go home, uh, they may get it trimmed one more time, but I like to leave it fuzzy when you come so I can show you how to trim their faces. It's really not hard. Everybody's always scared to do it, but it's really easy to do. And it keeps the hair out of their eyes and they don't tear. This is another male. I should just say the rest of these are all males. Um, face is trimmed, hair is out of his eyes. He's got a white collar, had a hygiene clip and he's ready to rock and roll for the week. We're actually moving into a new kennel today. So today they're gonna to graduate into a four by four cubicle, but they're gonna start going outdoors and they have a 10 by 15 kennel. They're gonna to get to run and play in and go in and outdoors, up and down three steps. Uh, kind of get them started on steps also, but they'll love being out, so be able to go outside in the shade because it's all shade where they're gonna be. Um, this is a male, bright neon orange collar, and he's got face trimmed, hygiene clip, and he says, I'm just ready to hang out for the day. And he has no idea what he's about to do. You're going to meet new grass today, aren't you? Yep, so we're going to put you down. Oh, I was going to show you too. He's got beautiful markings. His coloring on these spots is awesome. Yeah, I love these dark steel molds. Ow, guys, don't chew the toes. Toes are off limits. Come here. Come here. Ah! You guys are under here. You're a pistol. Get out of here. Okay, let's go. Got three more to go. So let's pick up the pace. We are 4469. This is a blue merle male. And I think he's the little guy in the list, in the litter. What? I know. He's got black collar, beautiful coat, just really, really soft coat. I know. You ready to go? Something new. Did you get a good face shot of him? All right, I'm trying to limit these to just under 10 minutes today. Since we're not going to do videos, I want you to see them play them. So I want to get the basket out of here. 7107 is a microchip number. He has a forest green collar. Beautiful coat, lots of spots. You'll be able to spot this collar really easy. And uh, we're going to turn him loose and let him play. All right, one more to go. Yay, you're my last victim. Let's get rid of the basket. Oh, we graduated and got the basket out of here. 
I know. Like a better bird. I know it. Yeah, I know. You can't get in my lap. No, you can't. I'm so sorry. All right. Microchip number 6747. Bright neon. Oh, I could get rid of that. Bright neon green collar. Beautiful coat. And really cute little face. Okay. Let's put him down. We had some people here the other day to pick out a puppy. And they asked me if this was all her babies. <laughs> I said, yep, it's all her babies. Uh, blew our mind, too, when she had this many babies. I'm going to get my chair. Whoops, sorry, guys. Didn't mean to scare you. I'm get my chair and get out of here. I think my days of sitting on the ground are gone after total knee replacements. I can't get off the ground anymore. So a chair works great. All right. So these guys are eating dried dog food. Every day they get cottage cheese and they also get probiotics in it. It's really good for their skin, their coat. People always ask me, why do you feed cottage cheese? Well, it's got tons of calcium, protein, and fat. Those are three big ingredients for growing babies and for nursing moms. Uh, Fergie loves it. It's great for her. It keeps her from being skinny. Nursing nine puppies, she eats puppy food all she wants. We feed free choice, so there's always puppy food there. Um, and it gives them an extra boost. They're all sitting there scratching their collars now. They're going, what are these on my neck? And some of them are over here debating if they're going to move or lay still. This will be the last week we put Fergie with their videos. After this, it will just be babies. And you will be amazed at how they play next week when we do videos. Um, they change so rapidly at this point, activity level-wise. It's amazing. It's almost scary how much they change um, each week. If you were here and could watch them, we have the best time watching the changes these guys go through. Right now, this is going to be a scratch my neck day because of these collars. Uh, they're going to get their shots at six weeks old. They're going to get their first dose of heart guard sometime between six and seven weeks. They also are wormed every two weeks until they go home. So by the time they leave here, they will have, if they leave on time, let's say, they should have three wormings under their belt. And if they're here, an extra, that one says, oh, there went mom, I'm just going to roll over. And uh, sometimes they'll have an extra one if we have to have the pup here till 10 weeks old. But we like to get them out of here before 10 weeks. It's much better for them. They should be in their home by that point and bonding with the family they're going to live with. And you guys can start them out on all their activities and stuff that you want to do with them. So they'll come in the house with us around six to seven weeks old. Usually it's right around, I'm sure with Fergie's, it'll be right around the, the six-week mark. Uh, they're already eating so much dog food that uh, she's starting to get to where she's like, okay, kids, go away. Just like that when it was going to walk over a nurse and she gets up. So moms start weaning these kids on their own. I don't think the kids realize that they're doing it, but she doesn't make herself accessible all the time to these guys to nurse. So if you have questions about these kids, please call me if you have any questions. Uh, my phone number, if you're seeing this on YouTube, is below the video. If you're on our website, it's in the top left-hand corner of the website, along with our address. And I'll be glad to answer any questions I can for you. So I hope you enjoyed their video and their first day ever on the grass. And they're starting to become big kids instead of baby kids. So have a good one and uh, we'll look for you next week. Talk to you later. Have a great weekend.